To gain eternal life, you need to know God and Jesus Christ, who is His Son. Now, the Son revealed the Father. Now, how do I get to know the Son? The only way to come to know Jesus Christ is through the Holy Spirit. That's why Christianity is based on the Holy Trinity. If you do not believe in the Holy Trinity, I just wonder what kind of a Christian are you? Matthew 28, 19. So clear, clearer than the sun that rises every single day in heaven and shines upon the whole world. Matthew 28, 19. The Lord after resurrection, He is sending forth His disciples to the four corners of the world. What does He say to them? Go to all four corners of the world. Disciple them. Baptize them and teach them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Is there anything more clear than this? And the Lord, what notice, He didn't say in the names. No, in the name singular. Because the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit are one God. There is no gods, it is one. But you see, this is the problem and the dilemma of the Christian world, even. We are forgetting one thing. Please pay attention. Love can never exist. I'll say it again. Love can never exist unless there is more than one person present. Why are we able to love our own self? Because I am made out of body, soul, and spirit. I'm not just one. I am one in three, three in one. I exist. I have an intellect and I have a life. Is my existence my intellect? No. Is my intellect my life? No. Am I three people? No, I'm one. But I'm not just one. I am one in three. Existence, intellect, life. The existence of God is the Father. The intellect of God is the Son. The life of God is the Holy Spirit. But it is all one God. Just like we are one person. Love cannot exist with just one single unit. <laughs> if I'm just one single unit, how can this single unit love itself who am I talking with there's no one 